guys! Welcome back to the channel. My name is Cupquake, and today we are continuing her story! Uh, I have been trying to stay staying away. I've been trying to stay away from the comment section because I don't want to see any spoilers. But as I was editing the videos, I realized this is totally a twin. Separate girl. Uh, and she probably killed her Simon, the other twin's husband. So we have Eve and Hannah. Um, and I think the last we searched was birthday. Um, it's been about a week since I've played. Um, so it's kind of, I kind of have to refresh my memory. Um, let's go ahead and watch. This is what I just loaded up. So let's go ahead and watch birthday and try to find out some more info. I'm just chilling today. Got my cup of coffee. We're just hanging out, searching some database. You know, just chilling. So let's go ahead and check this out. Hello. Yes, that's my birthday. Not one of the big ones, but I guess you can see that. Hmm? Wait, what's her birthday? What is her birthday? Because we remember we found that clue with the tapping um, where it said DOB. Did I save that paper? I still have the tapping stuff here. My little notes paper. I think I have it right here. Yeah, so I totally have it here. It's birth year date, Hana. So we need to, I guess this is, I think this is Hana. Um, I need to figure out her birth date. So what is it? It was my birthday, like you said. It was. We were going to have a meal at home. We had our meal. He gave me his present. I guess I didn't like the present. What? Wait, is this the girl who, uh... So, is this the Eve? The one who actually... I think this is Eve. I need to figure out who is who. No. Well, yeah. This is the wife, I think. You found out on my birthday. I told him I was pregnant. Okay. Found out a lot of things on this poor guy is probably so confused. Let's play. From when I woke up. Okay. I uh, I woke up. Simon was already up, and he made me birthday breakfast of eggs Benedict. When is her birthday? Uh, we both had to go to work, so we saved presents to later. Um, I got to work. Had some birthday cake. Children sang me happy birthday. Then I came home. The birthday meal was a takeaway, um, and Simon gave me his present, which I didn't mind. And after that, we talked about the baby. It turned into a big argument. Oh no! Simon left. I was furious. I wanted to get as far away as I could and get some space to think. So I left. Mm. So she left. Okay. Well, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Um, I feel like I want to remove these sessions. I wanna put this in the rubbish bin so I can see the other entries. Let's just watch this one. Well, a week or so ago. It would have been the Saturday before my birthday. Saturday before her you birthday. You know, I get like that on the weekends, have a lie in, then want to get up and blitz the house. Um, okay, so I don't know how to put this in so I can see the new, the other birthday ones because I can only see, I only have access to the first five ones. Um, but let's just be a little more specific. Birthday cake, birthday gift. Present. This one. Okay, we got a new one. Mm. Back eight years back. It was a present to myself. That too. I shouldn't even be drinking coffee with the baby. It's been hard trying to give it up. I think they say you can have one cup. <laughs> um, okay. So I feel like this girl is Eve and the wife, the one who's pregnant is Hannah and she's the one with the tattoo, I think. Because 
I feel like this would be her and this would be her, but they're she's covering her arms. So definitely two different people. Um, what else can we search? Uh, twin. There you go. Let's search that. Twins. <laughs> really? Are you really asking me that question? What? That if she has twins, let's let's play. Keep going. Are you out of your mind? Twins. What? You could have twins. It runs in your blood. Let's go to this girl. There were always princes and princesses. They were the special people, more important than the other characters in their stories. We knew we were like that. Twins. Magical. We were the princesses. We had a poster of Princess Diana from the newspaper up in our attic. Had a pride of place. Mm. And underneath we used to put all our special things. When her engagement was announced, we were obsessed with everything she did. And later, when her life went so bad, we felt for her. So then this must be last year just kind of do a line under things. She's talking about the attic. Okay. What about divorce? Let's see that if anything comes up. Okay, just that one. Um Okay, so I had some entries. Amstad printer Simon murder accident Eric so we didn't get to search Eric. Eric is the owner of the, oh, darn it, did we already see all? There's a lot of them. So we have 14 entries for Eric. So let's just be a little more um, descriptive in our search. So Eric and Simon, maybe. Here we go, some that we haven't seen yet. We have nine entries found, okay, let's play this. Okay. I parked up in the street. It was busy, so I had to park down the end of the road. I walked up, knocked on the door, no answer. I took my keys out of my bag and unlocked the door. The main lock was unlocked. You can tell because the key doesn't turn when you try to turn it to the left. I walked in, Simon's coat wasn't on the peg. I couldn't see his shoes in the shoe rack. I shouted out. Um, I walked straight into the kitchen because he usually sits in there to have a cup of tea and read his paper. He wasn't there. Okay. I touched the kettle. Who's telling the it truth? It was cold. I looked quickly in the living room. Nothing. So I walked upstairs to the bedroom and he wasn't there. I didn't search for him because it was pretty clear he wasn't there. I had a shower. The phone rang whilst I was in the shower. I didn't answer it. I think it was Eric. Then I was just exhausted. So I laid down on the bed and I fell asleep. Though I didn't mean to. I woke up a couple of hours later and I was surprised to see no one in the bed next to me. And then I remembered where Is I was. Is he having an affair? That's when Eric called again. This time I spoke to him. Then I called Doug and Elena. And then I decided to come and see you. Don't know. Who is telling the truth? Okay, I don't even know. Uh, we got Doug, Eleanor. I think I'm spelling that right. Uh, Simon, um, the day missing. So this is the day that he went missing. They're describing what they did. Let's watch this one. Okay. Um, so she has a ring on. Does the, the other girl have a ring on? I was busy, so I parked down the end of the road. I walked up to the house. I knocked on the door. No answer. I took my keys out of my bag. Unlocked the door. The main lock was unlocked. What? I could tell because the key wouldn't turn when I tried to turn it to the left. What the heck? I this is... In. Simon's coat wasn't on the peg. I couldn't see his shoes on the shoe rack. Um, I shouted out for him. I walked straight into the kitchen. He usually sits in there. This is the exact same room. thing that she said. I, there. I touched the kettle. It was cold. Um, I looked quickly into the living room. Nothing. I walked upstairs okay. to the bedroom. He wasn't there. It's the same I story. didn't search. But she has a ring on. It was pretty clear he wasn't there. And then I had a shower. Whilst I was in the shower, the phone rang. I think it was Eric, his boss. How does she know exactly it. what she said? Then I came out and I was just exhausted. 
So I laid down on the So bed. this was on I fell asleep, but I didn't one seven. I woke up a couple of hours later and I was surprised Which to I see think no one in the bed next to me. It's not the month. And then first, I remembered where the I was and what had happened. Right. That's when Eric called again. I spoke to him. Then the I called first. Simon's parents. And then I decided to come see you. And that's exactly what that enough? That's exactly what she said. So description missing day. Um, so this was 1794 and this one, actually I'd like to add this. Let's add that session. Um, and we're gonna add this one too. This was the 30th of the sixth. So this was before, this was the day after. That is so weird. They're definitely, these are the two different women. I think this is the one with the tattoo. And she has a ring. But does she have a ring? Let's let's look. Okay. She has a ring too. I parked up in the street. It was busy, so I had to park up. What the heck? Oh, okay. Um. I am so confused. Um. Let's type Simon missing. So there's still some entries that we haven't found. This is, these are the two that we found Simon missing. Okay, maybe let's go ahead since they both mentioned the key in the door. There's, okay, we just typed key. So let's just watch these. Yes, I always pull it shut and then lock the bigger lock with the key. Okay, so she, always pulls it shut so this is key uh shut shut and bigger key and this one um no no i don't think it was i turned the key but it was already unlocked okay turn the key let's let's type in let's search like turned the key turn the key that was it um unlocked locked All right we got one where is it going to take us it's rapunzel the story starts when she's born rapunzel mother gothel a witch takes rapunzel from her parents and keeps her locked up in this tower Rapunzel gets pregnant by the prince. Okay. Mother Gothel is furious, so she cuts I'm just writing down words. Throws her. Actually, her hair's already short here, so that's already happened. So she throws her into the wilderness, and Rapunzel is reunited with the prince, who's blind. Mm. But she kills him with her tears, and so it's a happy ending. Blind. Is that too much? Okay. Oh, it's a happy ending. Let's, uh... Go ahead and happy ending. Nope, nope, nothing comes up. Okay, so why don't we type in parents. Parents. There we go, we found some stuff. There's 19 entries on parents. So we're gonna have to search this a little more. Let's go ahead and play. I got pregnant. Both our parents had a big powwow. We weren't even in the room. And they decided we should get married. Okay. Pregnant, married, and parents. Okay, and there's another one here. Then my parents died. It was the worst year of my life. Okay. A miscarriage and then my parents. What about parents like died? Here we go. Parents died. Play this. No, no cat. My parents had a cat before they died called Domino. Domino! It was this little black thing with white dots. And we never did anything about the cat flap, but... The cat flap? She thin, you could maybe squeeze through it. <gasps> the cat flap? Cat flap? Someone squeezed through? <gasps> okay. Cat flap. I'm gonna search that too. So let's go ahead and play this one. 
1984. It wasn't awful in the end. We were living at Doug and Eleanor's. I lost the baby at the end of spring and my parents died in the summer. It was a hot summer, a heat wave. So when they discovered the bodies, it was just awful. Because of the circumstances, them dying together like that, they brought in a lot of police. A forensic entomologist. I had to look that up. It was because of the heat. Oh, that's gross. It's just awful. Okay, so 1984. Let's look at that. 1984. Let's type that in. 1984 is the year that her parents died. That's the one that I just typed. How about cat flap? Yeah, more cat flaps. All right. No, they were shut. Most of the windows were really hard to open anyway. Okay, so the windows were shut. In the summer. They were painted over by my dad. Could have left a door open accidentally. Door open? There's a cat flap in the back door. All right. Maybe her parents were killed. Let's play. This other person doesn't exist. I don't know what the blonde wig is, but it could be anything. Blonde wig. Have you looked at the cat flap? Blonde wig. Okay, cat flap. And blonde wig. We're gonna type in blonde wig. Someone's wearing a wig. Wig. Woo, we got a lot of that. We got seven entries. Woo! All right, I love it when we find a lot. Let's see. A wig. A wig? Mm -hmm. What type of wig? Okay, so it's a blonde wig. Um, let's go ahead and play. No, I've never worn a wig. What kind of wig? Okay, I know you keep asking what kind of wig and stuff. The blonde wig. Did I spell blonde wrong? No. The parents decided there would be a wedding. And after the wedding, Hannah moved in with his parents. There was no way I could follow. So we were separated again. <gasps> I stayed in the attic. It was hard. It was like I suddenly didn't exist. And then she killed her. I would sneak out, but in case she anyone recognised me, I started wearing a wig. <gasps> she wore the wig. Hannah and I would meet up in the park. I was trying to get pregnant. But I couldn't. Get pregnant? And I couldn't do it with anyone we knew, so it was sex with strangers. <gasps> Drug guys I'd met in clubs. That's jacked up. Parks and alleyways. I was 17. Oh my gosh! It felt like I was being punished. But it was Hannah who had betrayed us. I had to stop when one of the guys gave me an STD. Yep, that'll happen. When we met up, it was disturbing. For the first time, my reflection, she didn't look like me. She was fatter, flushed. If anything, I was getting skinnier. It's kind of hard to look sometimes. We talked about what to do. Was it time to become our own people? And that Wait, she's like not wearing a ring, right? Do, but neither of us wanted it. We agreed that her and Simon would get their own place as soon as possible, and then I could move in. And that was the plan. Well, that was a bad idea. She's not wearing a ring here. And the plan, the plan, was to have them, um, uh, her to move in with them. Okay, so I think this girl's definitely Eve. She's not wearing a ring, but I get so confused between, like, this girl and this girl. Who is that? This was nine, about nine. I went round and she was waiting for me. She was furious and so angry. The kind of anger you can only have towards yourself. 
We screamed at each other, argued, cried, we fought. I hit her back, left a bruise. I had my wig on from performing, she tore it off. Eventually, we grew tired of fighting and I left. Okay, so we need to find blonde wig. There has to be something. She kept asking, what kind of wig? What kind of wig? It's a blonde one. Nothing comes up. Um, what else can we search? Door open. Door open. Oh, there we go. What's this? Are you arresting me? No. Fuck off. Open this door. Oh, shoot. So who is she? I don't even, I don't even know. This is getting harder. How, we could do Rapunzel? Rapunzel. Oh, there's a lot that comes up. Five entries. Perfect. Sorry. Sorry. The picture, the way it's drawn, just reminded me of the books we used to read as children. I read those fairy tales over and over and they were so real to me. Rapunzel was my favourite. My brain is just full of it. How many of these in colour? Okay. Did I pass? Sorry, I messed it up with all that Rapunzel stuff. Do you need me to do that card again? Is she wearing a ring? Who am I looking at right now? Are you wearing a ring? Stop covering your hands. Sorry. Sorry. Oh, no, she has the a ring picture, on. Okay. The way. I get so confused. Who am I looking at? We were obsessed with fairy tales. Not just the pretty, pretty ones, but the traditional ones. They were dark and real, bizarre and Fairy wild. tale. Fairy tale. Felt like life. We had this huge old book that I think Mum must have bought from the library sale. The illustrations had thin tracing paper over them to protect them. They were in colour, shiny plates. At the front of the book, was an index of illustrations. We read that more than the actual stories. We'd read aloud the captions and flip between the pictures. There was something intimate about peeling back the tracing paper and dressing the pictures. Rapunzel's hair is cut. Oh. The eagle plucks out his heart. The princess pricks her finger. Rapunzel, they really loved Rapunzel. Let's see. Fairy tale. Let's search up fairy tale. Yay! We have a lot. Okay. I think I'm going to end right here. Or you know what? Let's just go watch at least one. And the glaziers. The glaziers. Here we go. I worked there some weekends and someone had a part-time job there too. That was Eric's generosity. He was always good at helping out other people's children. Simon was quiet, more thoughtful than the other boys. Even then, he had a sense of craftsmanship. Wasn't always rushing stuff. Boys that age are just running around like headless chickens most of the time. Yeah. Plus, he had that look. That look? Or a fairy tale? He looked like a fairy tale prince from one of my books. <laughs> ah, that's a little creepy. Fairy tale prince. What about fairy tale prince? I'm writing this down so I don't forget. Fairy tale prince. So I'm gonna go ahead and end this here. This is getting a little more difficult to find stuff. We have to be a little more specific with our searches. Um, but clearly there are two separate people here. And I think one of the sisters is like, since they obviously told the same story of like what happened that day, I feel like either that was the same person and she answered twice, but I don't know why they would ask her that again the same next day. Um, or someone's just trying to live someone else's life. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and end this here. Again, I'm going to try to stay away from the comment section because I don't want to read any spoilers, but I think I have an idea of what's going on. But 
I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Cupcake, and I'll see you all later. Bye. Peace. Love.